Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is add ClickFunnels landing page registrations to Zoom meeting as registrants. Now suppose guys, you have created a landing page using ClickFunnels. You have built a funnel using ClickFunnels and you are hosting a meeting on Zoom meetings. Now guys, you want that the users who wanted to join that meeting, they can register for that very same meeting using your landing page. Just they just have to enter the details on your landing page form and they can register for that meeting. But at the back end, you have to manually get the details of the registration from ClickFunnels and that manually add those people as a new registrant in your Zoom meeting as well. And this complete manual process can be very much repetitive and time consuming for you. So in this video, to solve your problem, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever the form will be submitted on our ClickFunnel landing page, the form which we have created for registration, whenever someone will enter their details and register for the, our Zoom meeting on uh, that landing page, we will add that very same user with very same details as a new registrant in our Zoom meetings. Interesting, right? Now guys, you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect which is an automation and integration software. Now, what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So, as you can see, here we are on the Public Connect dashboard. Now, to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as click funnel, click funnels to zoom and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new registrations which we are getting on our click panel landing page in Pavli Connect. Then after that using Pavli Connect we will send that very same registration data which we have received from click panel to zoom to add that very same person as a registrant in our zoom meeting. So let's begin with our process. So here in trigger window in choose app we have to search for click panels. Click panels it is. And after that, in trigger event, we have to select new contact created. After selecting our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect our ClickFunnels account with Pavli Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So we will go to the funnel page of our ClickFunnels account which we have created. So this is the funnel named as Pavli which I have created. And after that, on the right side, we can see a settings option over here. Just click on settings. And at this settings page, just scroll down until you find webhooks. So here is the option named as webhooks. And at this webhooks page, click on manage your funnel webhook button. Now here at this page, just click on add new webhook. And yes guys, at this very same page, the first thing it asks us is URL. So in this URL section, we have to paste the very same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. After pasting the webhook URL, it is asking us for the event. By default, it is selected as all events. We will cancel it and we will select contact underscore created as the event. Then the version will be version 1 and the adapter will be JSON from the drop down. And after selecting all these things, just click on create funnel webhook. And that's it guys. We have successfully connected our ClickFunnels account with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL now. Now after this, whenever we will receive a new registration on our ClickFunnels account, automatically the details or the data of that very same registration will also be captured in Pavli Connect because the form submission on the form submission, the, there is a form which I have created on my landing page using ClickFunnels. So whenever a user will fill that form and register it, that very same user will be added as a new contact in my ClickFunnels account. 
and because we have connected our clickfunnel account with pavli connect using a webhook url and selected contacts created as the event we will get the details or the data of that very same registration over here as well so let's do this let's go to the clickfunnel account and here this is the landing page which i have created let's open it in a new tab and at this very same landing page we can see a form so here uh, by default there are the details of a dummy user over here over here a test user so name of this person is test name first name is test last name is name this is the email address and this is the phone number of this dummy user so using the these details we will submit this form and register for the zoom webinar just click on this reserve my seat button and we will see that this form is now successfully submitted now because we have connected click funnel with pavli connect using a webhook url we will see that the response or the data of this very same form submission will be captured inside pavli connect and yes here in pavli connect workflow in trigger window we can see that we have received some response over here and in this response it is a details of the very same user very same data which we have entered on our click funnel landing page so we have the same first name same last name same full name as well as same email address and phone number which we have entered on our click funnel landing page while making the submission which means the step 1 of setting up this automation is now successfully completed we have successfully connected our click funnel account with pavli connect and after that after making the connection we have received the registration data from our click funnel landing page in pavli connect as well now let's move to step 2 where we will send this very same data to zoom so that we can add this very same person as a new registrant in our zoom meeting now for that we'll just scroll down and come to our action window over here and here in choose app we will search for zoom now after that in action event we have to select create add new add meeting registrant so this is the action event which we have to select and just click on connect select add new connection and now here we have to connect our zoom account with pavli connect and to make this connection just click on this connect with zoom button and we will see that because we have already logged into our zoom account in our browser pavli connect detected the very same account and made the connection after making the connection it is asking us for the meeting so in the drop down below we can see all the zoom meetings which we have created in our account so the meeting in which i want to add this registrant is named as developers conference so from the drop down below we will select this very same meeting developers conference after selecting the meeting it is asking us email address first name last name and other details of the user to whom we want to add as a new registrant in our zoom meeting so we have received all these details from a click funnel landing page response the registration response which we have received from click funnel in pavli connect trigger window so here is the first name last name we have the email address and the phone number so from these responses we have to basically map this very same responses over here in this zoom action window and the process of mapping guys is very simple simply click on this field and from the drop down below we can see all the responses which we have received from click funnel can be seen over here and out of all these responses select the response of email address and map it over here just from the drop down select the response of email address and map it then after that it is asking us for the first name so we will follow the very same process of mapping here as well just click on this field and from the drop down below select the response for first name and map it then the same process for last name map the last name then we will find that it is asking us for the address so we haven't received the details or the data of uh, address of the user from click funnel and these fields are not mandatory as well so we will ignore this field then it comes the phone number just click on this field and from the drop down below map the phone number as well then again industry organization job title these other details are also not mandatory and we have also not received these details from click funnel in our trigger response so we will just ignore this field and scroll down and click on this save and send test request button after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a very positive response to us so this response shows that the user whose details we have mapped over here basically the user whose details we have added on our click funnel landing page registration page the very same user is now successfully added as a new registrant in our zoom meeting so let's check it we'll go to zoom meeting and we will just refresh this page once 
and yes guys here in uh, in the bottom side we can see that on under manage registration there is a registration in this meeting that is one so just click on this view button and we will find that this is the very same user whose details we have added on our click funnel registration page very same name same email address and same details as well which means guys the automation the workflow which you have created in this video is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation we have to just test this automation once in real time so once again we'll go to our click panel landing page and here we will enter the details of a new user for example dummy name this is the another dummy email address and this is a dummy phone number just submit this form and register for the zoom meeting and we will see that the registration is now successfully completed and we will see that the registration is now successfully completed completed we have successfully filled the form and now we will directly go to zoom meeting and here we will refresh this page and we will see that this very same user whose details we have added on our click panel landing page will be instantly automatically added as a new registrant in our zoom meeting just refresh it once just scroll down and click on this view button in front of registrants and yes guys we can see that this very same user is now instantly automatically added as a new registrant in our zoom meeting the very same name same email and same other details as well which means guys we have tested this automation in real time that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine so let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation so first we have created a workflow in pavli connect and in this workflow we have selected click panels as our trigger application and our trigger event was new contact created then using a webhook url we have connected our click funnel account with pavli connect and after that we made a registration on our click funnel landing page so that we can get the details or the data of that port very particular registration inside pavli connect then after that using pavli connect we have sent that very same data to zoom so that we can add that very same user who is registered for our zoom meeting on click funnel landing page we can add that very same user as a new registrant in zoom meeting as well So not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you will clone the, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect pricing at this link So if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to Pavli thank you have a nice day